Next, the coffee competition is heating up in Mexico. Nestle's launch of multi-million dollar pilot programs could make it a contender against Starbucks. CCTV's Martin Markovitz has more. For years, Mexico was not especially known for its coffee culture. But that changed about a decade ago when Starbucks stirred up the brewing field by opening the first of some 400 cafes across the country. Move over Starbucks, Nestle plans to wake up the competition. This year, the Swiss company is launching cafes in Mexico City, including its first coffee store in Latin America, and rolling out coffee trucks that will crisscross the capital. Executives hope this will lift the brand, including the popular Nescafe that's mainly sold from coffee vetting machines and brewed in homes. And you need to be relevant in this culture and you need to talk the language that everybody is talking. Since the relaunch of the brand in 2014, we've experienced some phenomenal growth in the way that people are perceiving the brand as more modern, more youthful. And, and so this gives us the credentials and the footing for us to be able to go into this new venture. Although Mexico is still Nescafe's biggest market, executives acknowledge that it will be hard to break into the coffee store market long dominated by Starbucks, but they will have some advantages. Arturo Hernández is the president of Mexico's main coffee trade group. What they are going to do is have coffee trucks where they'll be able to go almost everywhere. They're also going to sell their cheaper coffee, maybe not the same quality as coffee stores, but the availability and the easy access to this in almost any block could help them take customers from the coffee stores. Nestle says its first store will open in two weeks, but it's safe to say it will probably take more of a financial investment by the Swiss company to seriously compete with Starbucks' dominance in Mexico. Martin Markovitz, CCTV, Mexico City.